Hello, hello, hello. This is Forsaken Gecko. Welcome to the BAL 27 gun review. First off, I would like to let you guys know that I freak out and lose my mind right at the beginning, and you'll see why and you will understand. First thing we're going to cover before uh, we get too much farther remember, be smart about your weapon. I cannot stress this enough. I see too many people using a Moors or Atlas sniper rifle or even the Lynx and NA-45 in extreme close quarters when you really should have a shotgun. Please play to your weapon strength and stop being, uh, you know, a little pussy and a bitch and complaining about, you know, dying when it's easily prevented. Okay, next. Uh, the BAL-27, what do we know about it? We do know that it has a 32 shot magazine. Uh, with extended mags on, you will have uh, 48 rounds. Four grip is technically something you really should put on this thing to even make it, make it even more of a monster weapon. Uh, silencer, you know, for those short range maps. Not something I would recommend on a you know, medium range map unless you're used to uh, using the BAL, B B E L really, B A L. Gosh, man, I'm trying to do a gun review and I messed, I messed up the name. Wow, right? Ugh. One thing I would like to add, people, when you use the noob tube on the BAL, it's kind of cheap. Just saying, but BAL is an attachment. I'm not gonna say don't use it. It's just. BAL is already an insane weapon to begin with. You don't need to make it more insane. Okay. That's just my opinion. That's my two cents on it. My attachments I used in the video are foregrip and suppressor. If you haven't noticed, I'm using Exo King and not uh, the Exo Boost. Uh, it's been so long since I've used the uh, speed up one, and I've been using uh, Exo Ping and fuck, I forgot what the yellow, the yellow one was uh, Exo Silence, whatever that, whatever it's called. But it, you know, the, I've witnessed and experienced the potential uses of both of those Exo abilities. I can get more out of my comfort zone and experimenting with the different abilities. One I like to use with a suppressed class, which I personally recommend, is the Exo Ping and the uh, Exo Silence, Exo Suppressor, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, something I actually noticed, which right now actually, which would be even better, is using Exo Ping and Exo Silence hand in hand, especially if you have overcharge on, you can keep them even longer. It's something I'll play with for the next guide review, and we'll explore a little bit in the next one. But let's talk more about this gun because that's really what we're here for. If you haven't noticed, I'm actually using it. Well, I did mention it, but uh, the foregrip I'm actually using on it for hip fire reasons. It's so to increase the accuracy by those two points and the, those two accuracy points actually make a great difference in the spread, especially when you're prone. You'll see me here do uh, some prone shots, hip fired. Yeah, that foregrip made it a heck of a lot easier. I'm trying to think, trying to think, what else? What else are I coming? Uh, well, it's it's got good hip fire. For close quarters, I completely recommend it. Uh, especially in hardcore, like you could even you put even put a foregrip, a laser sight on that thing. Maybe even a stock if you want to. If you ever have to aim, but you hit fire that thing, you'll get a lot of people. Yeah, okay, you'll at least get hit markers on normal. You know, one one tip I loved about it's a video I saw on some guy's channel a long time ago when Black Ops was the big thing. It's to because they didn't have things like quick draw and stuff on Black Ops. To, I guess counteract that uh, some people were shooting before they aim you know you would think that's a little weird 
but once you fire your first round and you start pulling that trigger, your shots are going to get tighter and tighter and tighter. And since I was a very avid hardcore player with the M16 on Black Ops, it was a very useful technique and I've carried it with me to Battlefield, uh, I've used it on Gears of War, can't really say Halo, but you guys get the point. It's very useful. I recommend it to anyone. I've done it on Ghost too, so you know, don't judge. Even though Ghost is by far a terrible game, you have to get into a lobby with non jackasses, I guess is a word, to really be able to perform to any degree. Because if you. It, I'm getting off track, but let me just say this. Any Call of Duty game, if you build your class just right and you get used to it, you can always dominate the game. That's it. That, that is, without a doubt, a fact. Anyone who's played Call of Duty, um, I've been playing since... Dang, the COD 2. I've been playing ever since then, and... It, they just the same things rang true for every game. I'm I'm not gonna really go too much in that because we're playing advanced warfare. Not anything else I'm gonna t I need to say about this class, about this gun really, uh, except the perks I'm using. I'm using scavenger and toughness, which help greatly when you're being shot at. Well, toughness anyways. You know you, your gun doesn't bounce everywhere. Which helps, uh, which is something I picked off, uh, picked up from another YouTuber. If I remember, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but if I, re if I remember correctly, it was Green Goblin. You know, do don't quote me on it, but it, it was uh, it's hard. To, it's hard to remember because I watch their videos regularly. Uh, Green Goblin and Alie. So I mean, it's hard. For, it's hard to remember because I've watched like all their stuff. So you know, don't judge me. But yeah, no. This uh, this is all I all the commentary I have for this video. We're gonna let it uh, finish play now. Let you guys see how I handle this class. Uh, I did. Uh, I do want to add one last thing before I actually end the video. I stacked class with a stun to mark people. I know that's like a Modern Warfare three thing, but I used it to mark people so I have a general idea of where they are when my exo ping ran ran out or when my UAV with the uh, threat detection added to it when that ran out. I think it's useful. You know, if I had a tracker on this thing, I would definitely put a tracker, suppressor, and a foregrip on this thing. Because I, I just think that would be perfect for this class set. And, you know, once I get it, I'd be definitely using it. And, yeah. That is the end of this commentary, guys. I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. There's only 14 points when we win. So, if you have any questions or recommendations for gun reviews, drop them in the bottom. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Team controls the laser head defense system. Kill confirmed. We're winning. We've lost control.
control. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. We're in control. Standing by. Friendly UAV above. Kill confirmed. Good work, team. I'll give Irons the good news. Sick this shit straight hardcore Hit us so pissed gonna cause a rap